Kubernetes is, by far, the most successful container orchestration tool for microservices. However, setting up a Kubernetes cluster manually is a complex task. While most cloud providers offer their own tools for deploying Kubernetes clusters, for example, EKS CTL from AWS, keeping track of all the commands can be inconvenient and prone to errors. Today, we will explore the simplest yet most powerful way to set up a Kubernetes cluster using Terraform modules. Think of Terraform modules as similar to the NPM packages we use daily. The Terraform registry contains thousands of ready-to-use modules for various use cases. To deploy an EKS cluster, AWS provides an EKS module. By scrolling down the module's documentation, we can find details and demo usage examples. Notably, this module requires two critical inputs, the VPC ID and the subnet IDs. Before proceeding with the deployment setup, we assume you have a basic understanding of how Kubernetes and Terraform work. If not, check out our previous videos on both topics linked in the description. Let's create a Terraform file to specify our providers. Here, we only need one provider, AWS. Next, we will create a second file to define our EKS module. We'll name the module EKS. After that, we'll specify the source for the module. This source is the location where Terraform will download all the associated files for this module. Next, we need to configure the cluster name and version. Additionally, we will expose the EKS API server to the internet, allowing us to manage the EKS configuration from outside the cluster. We will provide the VPC ID and subnet IDs. Within this VPC, Kubernetes managed nodes will be provisioned. The root volume of the worker nodes will be set to 10 GB. Next, we will configure the desired minimum and maximum number of worker nodes allowed in the cluster. EKS will use this configuration to scale nodes up or down based on the load on the cluster. Finally, we will add a tag labeled staging. Let's run the Terraform init command to initialize the providers. Once Terraform is initialized in the current directory, we can execute the Terraform plan command to review the number of resources that will be deployed to AWS. Finally, we will execute the Terraform apply command, which will deploy all 29 resources to AWS. Imagine having to create all these resources manually from the AWS console. Once our cluster is ready, we can update our local cube CTL configuration so that the cube CTL tool can interact with our cluster. To achieve this, we will use the update cube config command. Let's create a simple Kubernetes deployment resource for an Nginx server. The resource kind will be deployment. In the metadata section, we will add a name and labels. In the spec section, we will define replicas, a selector, and a template. For this demo, the number of replicas will be set to 1. The labels will be app nginx. Inside the template, we will specify the metadata and container configuration. Finally, in the container section, we will define the actual image and the port we want to expose. Next, we will create a file for the nginx service. Here, we need a service kind of resource. In the spec section, the service type will be set to load balancer. This will deploy an actual AWS load balancer for our service. We will then forward the load balancer port to the target pod port. The selector will help us map all the pods with the specified labels defined in the deployment. First, we will apply the deployment file, followed by the service file. Once these files are applied, our Nginx server will start running inside the cluster. We can find the load balancer endpoint using the cube CTL, get all command. This command will display the load balancer address, which we can copy and paste into a browser to verify that the Nginx server is running successfully. We can also visit the AWS load balancer section to see that EKS has deployed a load balancer for our service resource. Next, we will delete our deployment and service resources one by one. Finally, we will destroy our EKS cluster using the terraform destroy command. I will add a link to the source code in the description. Give it a try. It's really simple. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.